Hi, welcome to the video presentation on herpes zoster vaccine. Does it really work? Brought to you by howtocureshingles.com. Shingles is a common disease that normally affects adults over 60. Although people who have rather weak immune systems or had chickenpox before they were a year old may get this as well. A person who has shingles first experiences severe tingling on one side of their body, which normally happens before the rash appears. The rash is then followed by red patches and small blisters. The herpes zoster vaccine is one way to prevent shingles and stop the virus from spreading. There is only one licensed herpes zoster vaccine in the United States. This vaccine lessens the chance that a person will be affected with the shingles since it prevents the varicella zoster virus from reoccurring. The varicella zoster virus also causes chickenpox and it stays in the person's nerves after he or she gets well. This vaccine aims to stop the virus from reactivating and causing shingles. This vaccine is usually administered as a single injection, normally on the upper arm. But does this vaccine actually work? A previous study was conducted to test the effectiveness of the herpes zoster vaccine. The study involved 38,000 people from all over the United States who were all 60 years old and older. One half of this group took placebo while the other half took the vaccine. Each of these participants was monitored for three years to see if they contracted shingles. Once they did, the researchers observed how long the nerve pain, which is usually experienced by people with shingles, lasted. This study determined that the herpes zoster vaccine was able to reduce the occurrence of shingles by 50% and that the vaccine was most effective in people aged 60 to 69 years old. The study also concluded that the vaccine's effectiveness decreased as a person grew older and that the vaccine helped to shorten the periods of nerve pain. The herpes zoster vaccine has some mild side effects including headaches and swollen skin on the injection sites. This vaccine is still carefully monitored by the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention or CDC and the US Food and Drug Administration FDA. There are some people who are ineligible to take the vaccine such as children, pregnant women, people who are younger than 60 years old, and people who are allergic to any of the components of the herpes zoster vaccine such as neomycin. Those with shingles may get the vaccine, provided that the rashes have already disappeared. It is important to know that herpes zoster vaccine does not treat post-herpetic neuralgia or PHN, which is a more advanced and severe form of shingles. The vaccine has however been proven to decrease the frequency of PHN by lessening the risk of developing shingles. Another limitation of this vaccine is that it cannot give protection from other types of herpes, example genital herpes. If you have any doubts or questions about the herpes zoster vaccine, you should first visit your healthcare provider. Your healthcare provider can also help you decide when and if you should get the vaccine. To find out how to cure herpes zoster within days, click on the link. Thank you for watching this video presentation on herpes zoster vaccine. Does it really work? For more information, please visit howtocureshingles.com.